Well, that's disturbing. You see, I've got my guitar tuned in a special way. It's in me, me guitar is tuned in me. Brand new strings, so that you got that nice finger uh, scratch. Four strings in the middle on the same gauge, and the last one is the thinnest. It's for a, a performance, which universe permitting, which I am optimi optimistically predicting, we will be able to perform this evening out in Parc Saint Blue. Now, it's a top-secret situation. I actually signed a non-disclosure agreement, so I want to honor that. I think I can tell you a few details. Like, for instance, we were it was strongly recommended that we get these picks. It's called the Dunlap Tortex 60mm. Now, I don't think that means the thickness of the... of the... Uh, of the pick itself, or the mediata, as I like to say, because that has got to be, you know, 0. 0.6 millimeters right there, at the very most. And um, I actually like it. I usually play with something a little bit stiffer, but this is uh, this is nice. This is a nice pick. I I do recommend this. And uh, for the uh, acoustic uh, classical guitar, I play with something much softer, so I wouldn't use this on the on the nylon string. But for this uh, electric, it's just perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. So last night, let's see, I left uh, L'Atelier at 11 a.m. Rushed down, got in the metro, and got to the place on time, miraculously enough, which was uh, 12.30 in the afternoon. And then, last night, um, we were running late. Because of the weather, we had to keep postponing the dress rehearsal, which is called a general in French, if you're ever wondering. And so we did the dress rehearsal, and uh, the conductor, the guy who's uh, you know running the show, he asked us, I know we've been here, and... In all likelihood, our performance will be canceled tomorrow. No, false, false. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, if you want to do, uh, since we've done all this work, we might as well do a performance. So we went out. We all took our places on the uh, stage that they built. It's really cool. Again, I can't reveal much more than that, that it's cool. And it's strange, too, because I've, you know, I've been trying to manifest things. We were talking about Wu the other day. And uh, intentions and, and uh, reprogramming your subconscious for success. Oh, funny about that, too. I got uh, direct messages from this hypnotist guy in, I think, no, he's in Los Angeles. Southern California, at least. Some direct messages on the gram of Instas. And I'm thinking, oh, well, this is interesting. And so I was treating it sort of like uh, a magic eight ball or oblique strategies or tarot situation just reacting to whatever questions the guy was posing but of course i suspect at the very least it's staff of his which is contacting me he, you know said hey thanks for following my account 
hey, what, so what are you up to these days? And you know, what are your intentions? And all this stuff, leading questions. And uh, then I thought, you know, this might very well be AI. It might be a robot that I'm speaking to. So we exchanged three times. And then in the, on the final one, he said, so what is your, um, what do you do? And I told him, well, I'm an artist. <laughs> Ghost, Ghost Town. So can't help you, buddy. But I think things are looking up. Like the weather today is overcast for a change. A bit chilly, but it's not going to rain when our uh, performance is scheduled. I can guarantee you that, or actually the universe can. And I was talking about that earlier, the uh, the universe. Uh, there's this guy, Dan Ko. He's a business bro that I follow online. You know, the guys who like eat clean, work out, take cold plunges, uh, a shoe alcohol, uh, pretty boring, but all they're all, all they're about is generating money, usually through selling online courses. Anyway, just that to say the fact that this guy is also from his mailing addresses in downtown Seattle. His residence, he's done some videos from his residence. He looks more like he's on the east side, if I look out the windows correctly. And um, he had we have the same concept about God Yahweh Tetragrammaton. You know, he who cannot be named. Because what you're saying, when you say God, it's uh, it's a loaded word because people jump to conclusions and people who are like anti-theist, uh, you, you know, are, are, are certainly like drawn and shriveled up, offended by mention of God. And then, you know, you've got the Jewish version, Yahweh, and that's the same God, but a different reference. Then you've got um, Allah. Again, same God, different reference, and Buddha, and so forth. And anyway, it's all part of the same thing. And if we just say universe, you know, because we all are created, creation, we are, you, you know, it's obvious that universe is what's, is what is everything. And uh, he, he says uni, like one, and verse, song. So the universe is one song, is what he's saying. So it's extra woo. And so, today the universe is going to smile kindly upon us, because things do seem to be going in the proper direction. So I was out at this place, it's a, a Parc saint Cloud, which is at, on the periphery, uh, the edge of uh, Paris, in Sèvres, this uh, town. And uh, so we got out of our, like, uh, our group, one of our, our performance, and uh, I didn't realize how late it was, but finally... Uh, uh, we took the shuttle. It's really cool because, you know, they've got these guys in suits and ties with these massive little shuttle buses. And they say, Monsieur, Monsieur, Madame, Monsieur. And <coughs> taxiing us right to the or right to the metro station. And uh, so when I got out and got my gear, there was a dude across the street. I was crossing the street to go to the metro. It's sort of a, it's a, it's an arterial. And uh, he said, hey, boo, hey boo, taxi. And I'm like, uh, okay. And so I was hesitant because I had to pay for it. Um, but, uh, I'm, again, I'm certain I'll be reimbursed for that. Um, uh, what was it like? 40 euros for 14 kilometers. And, uh, and, uh, I'm glad I did because I got back here at 1230. If I had taken the Metro, I would have lost an extra hour for sure. Anyway, it was a good time. Met lots of good people and, uh, good things are happening. And then when I got home, I got an email from, uh, <coughs> the programmer, the guy, the guy who schedules the acts, the performances at a local bar, which is a pretty cool place. It kind of smells like a rotten burrito, but uh, they've got a cool little stage and uh, they, they're really focused on promoting the arts. It's right in the neighborhood. It's just, you know, 10 minute walk or five, less than that. I don't know, with gear, it's probably a 10 minute walk. And uh, so uh, I wrote, a, so that's nice. So I got that email there. And I wish, you know, and last night I actually skipped my the Electric Podcast yesterday. I didn't skip it, but I created a montage because, I, you know, as you can see, I didn't have any time. So I came home and it was about two in the morning and I was editing this uh, video together to uh, serve as that day's uh, in the, uh, edition of the Electric Podcast. And then I looked at it and I thought, oh, because the one, the coolest shot in there is of the backstage of... Uh, the performance we're going to be doing today, definitely. And uh, but then I signed this non-disclosure, and even though no one's probably going to see it, I thought I've got to keep my word for this anyway. And then I'll talk to the guys uh, 
the, the people in charge and see when I'll be free to show off how cool I am on the media social network. So what else was I going to say? Well, aside from that, I think that's just it. Maybe we can play around with guitar. Thanks for everyone for coming by. I gotta get going. Our rendezvous is at two, so bisous. Ciao for now.